Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel and today we're going to be trying a new flavor of ice cream from Van Leeuwen. This flavor is called Glass Onion. A Knives Out Mystery French ice cream. You know, I've tried plenty of Van Leeuwen ice cream. It's probably my second favorite ice creamery behind uh, Jenny's right now. Everything that comes out of here is it's just really creamy, rich, um, not watered down or icy. It's always really nice. And the, these are French ice creams, which means they have more egg yolks than normal ice creams, which makes them even thicker, richer, and creamier. This is supposed to be like a mystery flavor, kind of, but it's not truly because if you look at the ingredients, it tells you everything that's in there. Cream, milk, cane, sugar, and then here's where the flavorings come in. Onions. Yes, there are onions in this ice cream. Pineapple juice, egg yolks, non-fat Greek yogurt, dark brown sugar, white vinegar, bourbon, vanilla extract, baking soda, butter, sea salt, canola oil, pectin, natural flavor, and black pepper. So. The onions are supposed to be cooked in like a, a bourbon and, and pepper situation and become like an onion jam. And from what I've read, people are liking it. It's not uh, anything weird or gross or disgusting. And then there's pineapple, and I'm not sure if there's pineapple swirls or if the ice cream itself is pineapple flavored. There's also yogurt in here. So let's just open it up and find out. A life without anything good is bad. <clears throat> Alright. Here's what it looks like on top. We definitely got a dark swirl and at least one kind of ice cream. Maybe this is a second kind of ice cream or maybe this swirl has just darkened bits of it. I got my spoon and I'm ready to try it out. There is like a cooked onion smell on the top. Let's go on the top, see what we get out of the first bite. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of the onion. Let's try it. There's definitely a noticeable sweet onion flavor. Uh, if you've ever had French onion soup, or just like a grilled down caramelized onion on anything, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to try some on this edge that has like a good amount of that onion swirl on it, right there. It is interesting. The onion is a very dominant flavor of this. I'm really trying to get the pineapple flavor. And it's just not happening. Um, I don't think this is necessarily bad. But I don't really like it. It is, um, it's not that the onion tastes bad. It's just that the fact that it tastes like onion makes me makes my mind think there's something wrong with this um i'm getting very like durian memories when that flavor is in my mouth because it's like it's cold and creamy but it's oniony tasting 
which just reminds me of eating durian, which is, it does not taste or smell like durian. Like, it tastes like freshly cooked onions, not old rotty onions, but the flavor is just too reminiscent, and uh, it's triggering my mind to think of when I was eating durian. And I don't ever want to be reminded of this that time of my life ever again. Uh, so for that reason, the Knives Out Glass Onion, I'm giving a thumbs down. I don't recommend this um, unless you really like onions and durian type of flavors. Uh, yeah. Not a fan. Don't like. Don't recommend. Manly one. Glass onion. Stick to the mac and cheese flavor. That's my suggestion. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye for now.